Hello all and welcome back here to the next episode of the Onion Man's Rooftop Two-Headed Cow Caravan of Treasure and Sometimes Barter. Uh, so you might notice I said something a little bit different there. Uh, I've been toying around now that I'm over 100 subscribers, not that it's, you know, anything, but I've kind of been toying around with maybe like another name change. Uh, I've been thinking about doing the Onion Man's Two-Headed Cow. It's like a mixture of a couple different things. Um, I yeah, just toying around with it. Hmm. Potentially. Anyway. There's a hint for you. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that might be something now. The Onion Man's Two-Headed Cow. Um, Caravan. Onion Man's Two-Headed Cow Caravan of Treasure and Sometimes Barter. Onion Man's Rooftop Two-Headed Cow Caravan of Treasure and Sometimes Barter. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. Give me a suggestion if you can. I don't know. I don't care. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but we have another uh, Tales from the Mailbag. Um, if you notice in the thumbnail, there's a lot of boxes and a couple of bags. I have already decided that I'm splitting this into parts, so it'll probably be two parts. Um, <laughs> uh, it's a mixture of things. So I'm going to start in this video with the bags, the store finds, and then all of the stuff that's from Big Bad Toy Store, uh, specifically. And then the second video will be the stuff that's like random orders off eBay and Macari. So, because that's what those are. Um, so yeah, we'll start with the bag stuff. Um, I'm going to start with what I found here in my hometown. <clears throat> uh, at Walmart. So there we go. Uh, I finally saw the Batman. Um, took me a while to see it. Uh, I've also seen Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness now, so got both of those out of the way. Um, still need to watch Moon Knight. Uh, but I'm not going to lie. My favorite part of Batman was Penguin. So I went to my Walmart. There's a few of these. He's kind of the one that didn't sell, like him and, Dom and uh, uh, Busted Riddler. I didn't... Uh, my personal thoughts on the Batman, I'll just get it out of the way. I thought most of that movie was really cool, except for, like, the way they did Alfred and the Riddler himself. I just, I don't think the Riddler should be murdering people, like the Zodiac Killer and stuff. Um, it should be more challenging, more puzzly, not just straight serial killer. My absolute favorite part of the movie, though, is Colin Farrell's Penguin. So I went, I picked one of these up since they're so prominent at my Walmart. And yeah. Uh, I don't know. I thought he stole the show. I really did. I thought he was the best thing about the movie. Just the performance and everything. It was amazing. So yeah. If I see a Batman, I might pick it up. But I think that's the only ones uh, out of the Batman movie figures that I would get. Penguin and Batman. Uh, but yeah, so we got that. Uh, and then these were new, um, AEW, uh, AEW Unmatched Series 2. Uh, I got a Wardlow. Uh, I think I mentioned in the last mailbag or something that, like, I very rarely see AEW figures in my store. And anytime I do, it's always, like, stuff from, like, Series 2 or... Like, I think there's even still Series 1 stuff at my Walmart of uh, Unrivaled. I very rarely have ever seen the unmatched stuff, except for, like, those LJ and Cody's. Um, but I finally saw Series 2 of, like, these, like, the whole set. And uh, this is the only one I was planning on getting. I like Wardlow. I think he's pretty cool. Um, I think he's a future star. Um, he's already like on the rise. I really like him. It's a lot of potential there and yeah, uh, really enjoyed the whole build that's been going on for the past couple of years with him and MJF. Uh, we got Tay Conti, which, has, <laughs> uh, we got Santana and Ortiz. Cool to see them, but I already have their, uh, first figures. So didn't really feel the need to pick up another one. Got Wardlow. I already have that Series 1 MJF, or Series 2 MJF, whichever one it was. And then we have Sting, who is also like, a, I believe there's like an exclusive Sting, like a Chase. Uh, which I actually did see, but I didn't get. 
Um, I've seen people selling those pretty cheaply, so I didn't really feel the need to get one. Um, but yeah, the only one I got in the set is Wardlow. That's the only one I kind of like, okay, I need that guy. I already have an MJF. I have a bunch of different stings, not even AEW stings. I have a lot of elite stings. Uh, Santana Ortiz I already have, and I don't really care about Tay Conti. So, um, yeah, cool to have a Wardlow. Uh, okay, so this one was interesting. I posted an Instagram uh, story video. Uh, I went to Lubbock, Texas, went to different Walmarts, went to different Targets, didn't find anything except for one thing. At the first Walmart I went to, I did find the whole set of the WWE Superstar figures. Uh, and it was weird. So, in that video, I described how, um, I've seen these everywhere. Like, I've seen them at my Walmart. I've seen them at a, the Walmart that's like 30 minutes away from me. I saw them at the other Walmarts I went to. But not all of them. Um, most of the time, when I go to a Walmart and I see these, I always see... These two, the Bray Wyatt and the Ric Flair. I don't know if these are just, they're packed more. Uh, they're more common, I guess. Uh, or maybe just nobody wants them. <laughs> I don't know. But I, I've i seen mostly these two. Um, and I've seen Honky Tonk Man a couple of times, but never anywhere near as much as these, like, that Walmart I went to where I found all of them, there was about four or five Ric Flairs, about four or five Bray Wyatts, and then one Honky Tonk Man. It was very weird. And then uh, there were two Hogan's, and I bought both. This, this is the first one. Um, and actually, there's the second one. And the, the Ho It's weird. The Hogan's don't even have the uh, cards punched. Uh, it's very weird. But anyway... Um, uh, so, yeah, I just, I guess Bray and Rick are the common ones, and Honky Tonk Man and Hogan are just harder to find. Uh, my Walmart, I've never seen Honky Tonk Man and Hogan. The Walmart 30 minutes away, I think that's where I've seen a bunch, uh, I, th I think I, where I saw, like, the one Honky Tonk Man amongst the sea of Bray Wyatt and Ric Flair's, but still never saw Hogan. Uh, this was the first time I had seen Hogan. There were two of them, and, uh, in that video I went in to describe how they were hidden. Uh, I found one of the Hogan's on a top shelf in the middle of a bunch of, uh, uh, Grogu, uh, Grogu's, um, Star Wars, like, dolls, like those plush dolls. There's a bunch of them up there, and he was, like, in the middle of them. And the, I didn't even go up there looking for a Hogan. I was going to see what the elites were that were behind it, because there was a bunch of WWE elites, like, stacked up behind those. <coughs> so I was kind of trying to, like, like, I'm decently tall. I'm, like, six foot. So I was like reaching up there, moving stuff, and no joke, a Hogan just fell out of the uh, the the, the, Grogu, the Grogu's, um, and then I was like, oh my god, somebody's hiding him, and so I started looking because like when you notice something's being hidden, you start to know like all the tricks of the trade and that, especially in the collecting game. So I looked under, like on the floor underneath the aisles, and I found the second Hogan. So that's how I ended up with two Hogans. Um, and then Honky Tonk Man was in, uh, now I don't know if this one was hidden or not, to be fair, because it also could have, like, fallen, uh, on the back of one of the, like, shelves and, like, fallen down, um, but it was behind some of those, um, flocked, um, Mo uh, Masters of the Universe Origins Panthors, the ones that have, like, the fur, the flocked ones that are Walmart exclusive, uh, he was behind those, so he could, and he was like laying down, like that could have fallen off the back shelf. Maybe it wasn't hidden. Uh, maybe somebody did hide it back there. I don't know, but I ended up picking up him too. So finally found the whole set. Uh, even though my Walmart always had Bray Wyatt, a bunch of Bray Wyatt and Ric Flair, I never bought them. It was one of those weird things where 
I was real hesitant and I think I just kind of made up in my mind, like, well, if I ever find the whole set together, I'll buy it, but I'm not going to buy them all separately. Um, I do like the design. I think they're cool. Um, I know a lot of people are going like, they're saying like, oh, they're like the Rimcos, which is fair. Um, the old AWA Rimco figures, totally fair because those figures were also like in turn based off of He-Man, uh, the original Masters of the Universe. Um, and that's basically what these are. These are Masters of the Universe origins, but they're wrestlers. Um, and I know what you're thinking, like WWE already did the Masters of the Universe Origins crossover, but these are them in their regular gear, except for Bray Wyatt's. Bray Wyatt's is different. I don't know what's up with this look right here, but the rest of them, they're in their regular gear, their wrestling gear. Um, I, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on with Bray Wyatt here looking like a circus ringleader. Uh, in general, I don't know what's going on with Bray Wyatt because if you look at the back, there's your four for series one. It's three classic wrestlers and then him. And Series 2 is all classic wrestlers. It's like, uh, who is it? It's going to be Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, Shawn Michaels, and I think Ultimate Warrior. I might be wrong on that. But it's all classic wrestlers. And then Series 3, I think, has already kind of been shown off. And it's like a classic Undertaker and a couple of other classic wrestlers. Like, there's been no modern wrestlers really announced for this line randomly except for Bray Wyatt being in the first one. The only thing I can think of is, like, when they were starting this line, he was still with the company and he was still real over as the Fiend. So they threw him in there and the Firefly Funhouse and all that. Um, but I don't know why he looks like that. I'll say that. Everybody else is in classic gear. The Shawn Michaels, the Kevin Nash, the Scott Hall, the Undertaker that's been shown off. The Ultimate Warrior, they're all in regular wrestling gear too. For whatever reason, Bray Wyatt is in like this weird thing. I don't know if... Was he supposed to come back as the Mad Hatter? Like, <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and open these up. Um, uh, on the Instagram video, somebody had uh, sent me a comment, a, a DM, asking me if I ever did get the... Uh, the Masters, of, the WWE Masters of the Universe toys. I did for a little bit. I'm not going to lie, I did. I never unboxed them. I never showed them. Um, but the more I got them, the more I began to resent them. Because it did feel weird, them not having regular wrestling gear. Um, and I ended up actually selling all of those as, uh, a few weeks ago, actually. Um, but these ones I will get because they're in regular wrestling gear. So, happy to have them. Got two Hogan's. <coughs> Might sell one, might open them. I don't know. We'll find out. But I just... First time I ever see, I'd ever seen the whole set uh, in the store. And the first time I'd ever seen the Hogan in general. Um, and they're not hard to find. I was looking them up like uh, on Macari and eBay. They're not too hard to find. They're not that expensive to buy on, buy on the secondary market. Uh, next box we're going to look at is... Uh, or... Next thing we're going to look at. We're going to do the boxes. These are all from Big Bad Toy Store. Um, so, yeah. First up, we're going to look at the small one. Um, pretty light, so there's probably like one figure in here. Some of these, I think I know what they are. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of them I don't. So we're going to find out. Oh, speaking of Masters of the Universe, that is what is in here. Um, what is that? Oh, there's two of Wait, yeah, there's two. Oh. Okay, we have... Yep, you saw that. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, okay, cool. Uh... Yay, we got the Horde Trooper and Anti-Eternia He-Man. Uh, these are part of, what is it, is it Wave 8? I want to say it's Wave 8, Series 8. I don't think it says on here, does it? Either way, it's this wave right here. 
with uh, Sun Man and Clawful as well. Um, you might uh, remember that we uh, already have um, one of these. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, we, I believe, in the last video, um, we opened up Clawful, didn't we? Eee. Uh maybe I don't know. It'd be funny if he ends up being one of these boxes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, that's the next wave. Sunman, Horde Trooper, Clawful, Anti-Eternia He-Man. So, here's two of them. Uh, they ship separately, because on Big Bad Toy Store, I just have stuff ship when it gets in. So, these are the first two to get in. So, there you go. I love the Origins line. It's been fun collecting that. Uh, next thing we got... Uh, we have another small box. If I had to take a wild guess, I bet this is another Origins figure. Is that or a Marvel Legends? That seems to be like the thing I get the most off of Big Bad Toys for. Uh, oh, it's a Legend. Okay. Not Origins, but a, Ma a Marvel Legends. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I know exactly what this is. We have... Yeah, you just saw that again. Um... Marvel Legends Gore. Uh, funny enough, at one of the Walmarts I went to uh, in Lubbock, I saw uh, four of the new Thor line. Thor Love and Thunder Legends. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I'm going to take a drink real quick. Apologies. I saw four of them. Did not buy them. Because I already have the set pre-ordered on Bib Bad Toy Store. And I just didn't feel like buying them and going in and canceling the order. I'm just going to wait for them to trickle in from Bib Bad Toy Store and call it good. Uh, I'm not in too much of a rush for this set. I'm excited for the movie, no doubt. But uh, as far as the figures go, I, I can wait for them to trickle in. First one is Gore. Uh, I did not see him at Walmart. The ones I saw at Walmart were Thor... Valkyrie, uh, Groot, and then um, Ravager Thor. I saw those four. So the two Thors, uh, Groot and Valkyrie. Those were the four figures I saw at one of the Walmarts. Um, I didn't see the other ones. Um, uh, Armored Thor here is uh, the lead figure. He's the, the double pack, so he will not come with a Build-A-Figure piece. The other ones do. Uh, Jane Foster, Gore, Valkyrie, Ravager Thor, Star-Lord, and Groot will have pieces. Armored Thor will not. Um, so there you go. Cool. I know some people are complaining about the way he looks. Like, ah, he doesn't have the tendrils and he doesn't look like Gore. I think that's okay. Gore is a relatively new villain in Marvel. Like, he's probably less than 10 years old at this point. Um, but... He is pretty iconic for Thor. He's a big part of Thor's history now, especially J that Jason Aaron run where he debuted. Um, that being said, as long as his motives and his backstory and the way he acts is the same, I don't have a problem with them changing the look for Gore. Like I said, he's a newer character who you can kind of mess around with like that a little bit. It's not like he's an iconic, established, crazy character like Thanos or... Um, you know, somebody like that. Uh, he's relatively new. I think you can kind of get away with doing it. Um, I'll be honest with you. He reminds me a lot of the Boris Karloff mummy. Um, uh, but it is what it is. I am excited for that movie. I want to see Beta Ray Bill. I keep saying it. Beta Ray Bill is one of my favorite characters. I keep waiting for that to happen. Uh... We have another Big Bad Toy Store box. Uh, this is not in their traditional box, but it has their tape, so. This one's really light for a big box. Because it's like wider than the other ones, but it's lighter than those ones were. Really? They sent this box for this? So this one is another Origins figure. Yeah, you saw that again. 
What up? Third time's a charm, homie. We got Sunman. Whoa. They actually fit his thing on one of the cards. That's amazing. I thought it was going to actually be wider. <coughs> I kind of figured he'd be on a deluxe package. Uh, yeah, we got Sunman. So there you go. Next part of that set. Horde Trooper, Anti-Eternia He-Man, and Sunman. Uh, I believe we did do... Clawful. Didn't we, we? Is he over there in my pile of stuff? I can't tell. I want to say, like, I unboxed Clawful in the last one. So this should be, like, the last piece of that set. Ah, either way. Sunman. He looks great. Big sun rays coming off. I love it. Rulers of the Sun, Sunman. Uh, there's a story behind Rulers of the Sun. It was like a different uh, part of like He-Man, kind of the way like She-Ra was, right? Or it was supposed to be or something? Ah, I can't remember. He looks great though, so happy to have him. Uh, okay. This box is a little heavier. About the same size, but a little bit heavier. So, this one I don't know what is in it? Because I knew there was going to be Origins and one of the Marvel Legends, which ended up being Gore over there. Uh, but I am not sure what this one is, so. I don't have any more. I have one Diamond Select still on pre-order that's going to be heavy, but it's not this. Because I, I feel like I would remember that one saying it shit. What is this? Oh! Wow, I forgot about this. And I remember a while, uh, like a couple of weeks ago seeing the confirmation that it shipped. And I totally forgot it. Um, we have the... Oh boy. Come on. Come on. Hey, say that again. What up? Uh... Oh my god, this is heavy. Uh... Uh, you know what? Not bad, actually. Now that I'm holding it with both hands. We got the Multiverse Clayface. Um, Mega Fig. Um, yeah. Uh, I like Clayface. I know he's not a lot of people's favorite Batman villain. He's not my favorite either. But I do like Clayface. Uh, especially the animated Clayface. It's a real tragic kind of story. I really like that one. Um. Oh, excuse me. Um, Yeah. I think it's a pretty easy look for Clayface. You don't, uh, you just got to make him a big, mucky monster, and there you go. So simple, effective. I like it. Uh, yeah, cool. That makes me wonder what the other one is, because I feel like there were a couple of McFarland figures that shipped. Uh, anyway, yeah. I've been, uh, the, the multiverse line is a, one of those love hate relationship lines for me. Um, I like a lot of what they do, but I also don't like a lot of what they do. Mainly just the absurd amount of Batman that we get every time. Um, as well as just versions of characters that I don't think we need. Um, I prefer a more classic look. That's why I, I went back to find like the more standard Batman and the, and the Superman with the red trunks. Um, uh, thankfully we're getting that Martian Manhunter, that classic Martian Manhunter. I already pre-ordered that. Um, so if it's like close enough to a classic look, I'll pick it up. But if it's one of these random, just like hazmat suit Batman and scuba Batman or whatever that one like underwater Batman that just came out is, um, if it's stuff like that, I am not going to get it. I, I don't care. Um... So, yeah. Clayface. I think this is a close enough classic look for Clayface. So, uh, just a generic big blob monster. Call it good. Or, whoa, did you see that? The box fell. Um, or, if it's one of the Batman Arkham figures, I will get it. Except for the Deathstroke one. I don't think I got the Deathstroke one. Because, let's be honest, Deathstroke was a joke in the Arkham games. Um... Arkham Grundy, make that. That'd be weird, but it would be cool. 
I love Grundy. Uh, big box. Biggest one for last. Um, I don't know what this is. There's a part of me that wants to guess and say this is the Arkham Killer Croc. But I don't know if that came in stock. And I don't feel like checking my email right now to see if it was something that shipped. Either way, let's find out. That's the only thing I can think of it being. What would have shipped that was like bigger? Unless it's multiple things. But I feel like I would have known that too. Oh, I know what, okay. I should have known. Uh, it is multiverse, but it's not Killer Croc. I don't know why I thought, like, Killer Croc was in stock and shipped. But he didn't. Um, yay. What we have is the Dark Knight Returns set. We got all of them. Superman, Carrie Kelly, Batman, Joker. Uh, I think these look fantastic. I am a, I do love the Dark Knight Returns. Um, and yeah, when I saw that these were coming out, I really wanted them. Uh, these come with the uh, horse build a figure, like the horse Batman rides, if you've ever read the book. Or if you've seen the animated movie, which is really good. I slag a lot of DC's animated movies, especially recent ones, because for a long time they were really good. The DC animated movies were fantastic. And then, I don't know, somewhere in the middle of those, it all just started going downhill. And I remember Dark Knight Returns actually being really good. Like, it was the best one in a sea of ass. <laughs> like, uh, uh, there was like a string of really bad ones, and in the middle was this one, because it was two parts. And it was really good. Peter Weller was the voice of Batman. It was really awesome. Uh, and then they did Killing Joke and ruined everything. That Killing Joke movie is one of the worst things I've ever seen. And I love the Killing Joke book. Uh, anyway, that's not this. Uh, I think they look great. Batman looks excellent. I think Superman looks really good. Carrie Kelly looks really good. The only one I think is off a little bit is the Joker. I think they got... The suit and everything down perfect. But I feel like they could have done better with the head on this one. Uh, so he's kind of the outlier of the set, I think. In terms of the, the look and everything. But the rest of them are perfect. So it doesn't really bother me too much in that regard. But yeah. When I saw they were doing these, I wanted them. Uh, I think it's pretty much who you need. Uh, other than Armored Batman, which yes... Uh, McFarlane did make an armored Batman for Dark Knight Returns, but it is not accurate at all. Um, I don't know where they got that idea from. It looks more like Ben Affleck's armored Batman than it does Dark Knight Returns Batman. But it's labeled as Dark Knight Returns Batman, and it shouldn't be, because it looks nothing like it. In one of my previous um, mailbag videos, I unboxed the Mattel armored Batman from Dark Knight Returns. Looks way better. Uh, than the McFarlane one. Way more comic accurate. If you want a comic accurate armored Batman, go back and get the Mattel one. And that Mattel one will be similar in height to Superman, so it'll actually it'll actually work for your set. Um, but, yeah, I like these. I think they're great. Joker's weird head sculpt aside here. Uh, I think these are great. These are going to be real fun to open. And, yeah, uh, I'm super excited. So... That's it for the first half of this mailbag. Um, I don't know what I'm going to title this one yet. Uh, kind of have an idea, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I, I'm such a big fan of Colin Farrell's Pavement. I kind of, I kind of want to name. I might name this uh, uh, "Holy God, What Are You Showing Me?" <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, yeah. So we got the Dark Knight Returns figures. Uh, we got Gore. Awesome. Uh, we got the Wrestling Superstar set we found in a store. Uh, we got 
an AEW figure. That's first for like the first time in a long time. We got a Wardlow there. Good old Wardlow. Um, and some really cool Motu Origin stuff. We got Sun Man, Anti Eternia, He Man, and the Horde Trooper. We got the McFarlane Clayface. All kinds of fun stuff in this first half. So second half will be coming up right after this one. Uh, I'll take a look at the non-store, uh, non-online or uh, brick and mortar. So the stuff that's like eBay, Macari, stuff like that, that'll be the second half. Uh, but thank you. And please leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. You don't have to if you do not want to, but I appreciate anybody who does. So thank you, and I will catch you guys in part two of this movie.